How to Attain Control Over Your Mind Attaining control over one's mind is a profound endeavor that encompasses various aspects of mental discipline, self-awareness, and continuous practice. The mind is a powerful tool that can shape our perceptions, emotions, and actions. However, without proper control, it can lead to chaos and stress. This video explores the multifaceted journey of gaining control over your mind, offering practical techniques, insights from psychology and philosophy, and personal anecdotes to illuminate the path. Understanding the mind. Before diving into techniques, it's crucial to understand the mind's nature. The mind can be likened to a wild horse, full of energy and potential but prone to running astray. It comprises thoughts, emotions, memories, and subconscious patterns. Our thoughts can be conscious and deliberate or automatic and habitual. Emotions, often intertwined with thoughts, can be fleeting or persistent. Understanding this complexity is the first step toward gaining control. The Role of Neuroplasticity Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, plays a significant role in controlling the mind. This means that with consistent effort, we can rewire our brains to adopt healthier thought patterns and emotional responses. Embracing the concept of neuroplasticity instills hope and underscores the potential for change. Techniques to attain mental control 1. Mindfulness Meditation one of the most effective methods to gain control over the mind is mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It cultivates a heightened awareness of thoughts and emotions, allowing us to observe them without getting entangled. Personal anecdote, I remember when I first started practicing mindfulness meditation. Initially, I found it challenging to sit still and observe my thoughts. My mind would wander, and I'd feel restless. However, with time, I noticed a significant shift. I became more aware of my mental chatter and less reactive to stressors. It was like turning down the volume of a noisy radio, allowing me to focus on the present moment with greater clarity. How to practice? Find a quiet place and sit comfortably. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Focus on your breath, observing the sensation of air entering and leaving your nostrils. When your mind wanders, gently bring your focus back to your breath. 2. Cognitive Behavioral Techniques Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, offers practical tools to manage thoughts and emotions. It involves identifying negative thought patterns and challenging them with evidence-based reasoning. Example of CBT Technique thought record. Identify a distressing thought, for example, I'm not good enough. Challenge it with questions like, what evidence do I have for this thought? Or, what would I tell a friend in this situation? Replace the negative thought with a more balanced one, for example, I have strengths and weaknesses, like everyone else. 3. Visualization and Affirmations. Visualization involves creating vivid mental images of desired outcomes. Affirmations are positive statements that reinforce a constructive mindset. Both techniques can reprogram the subconscious mind to support our goals and well-being. Personal Anecdote During a challenging phase in my career, I used visualization to imagine successfully navigating difficult meetings and projects. Coupled with daily affirmations like, I am capable and confident, I noticed a boost in my self-assurance and performance. The consistent practice of visualization and affirmations helped me stay focused and positive. How to practice? Visualize your goals in detail, engaging all your senses. Create positive affirmations that resonate with you. Repeat these affirmations daily, ideally in front of a mirror. 4. Journaling. Journaling is a powerful tool for self-reflection and mental clarity. Writing down thoughts and emotions helps in processing them and gaining insights into recurring patterns. How to practice. Set aside time each day to write freely about your thoughts and feelings. Use prompts if needed, such as, what am I grateful for today? Or, what challenges did I face, and how did I overcome them? Five. Physical exercise. 
Physical exercise is not just beneficial for the body but also for the mind. Regular exercise releases endorphins, reduces stress and improves mood and cognitive function. Personal anecdote. Incorporating a morning run into my routine had a transformative impact on my mental state. The combination of physical exertion and being in nature provided a sense of calm and clarity that carried into my day. It became a time to clear my mind and set a positive tone for the day ahead. 6. Healthy Lifestyle Choices Diet, sleep, and hydration significantly affect mental health. A balanced diet rich in nutrients, adequate sleep, and staying hydrated are fundamental to maintaining mental equilibrium. Tips Include omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamins in your diet. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. 7. Practicing gratitude. Gratitude shifts focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. It fosters a positive mindset and enhances overall well-being. How to practice. 1. Keep a gratitude journal and write down three things you're grateful for each day. 2. Reflect on these entries regularly to cultivate a habit of gratitude. Insights from psychology and philosophy. Stoicism. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, emphasizes control over one's mind by focusing on what can be controlled and accepting what cannot. Key principles include Dichotomy of control. Distinguish between what is within your control, that is, your actions and thoughts, and what is not, that is, external events, other people's actions. Mindfulness of thoughts. Practice self-awareness and self-discipline in thoughts and actions. Positive psychology. Positive psychology focuses on strengths, virtues, and factors that contribute to a fulfilling life. Techniques from positive psychology, such as practicing gratitude and fostering positive relationships, can enhance mental control and well-being. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Overcoming Common Challenges Consistency Gaining control over the mind requires consistent effort. It's easy to start strong but maintaining practices like meditation or journaling can be challenging. Set realistic goals and establish a routine that integrates these practices into your daily life. Patience. Change doesn't happen overnight. Be patient with yourself and recognize that setbacks are part of the journey. Celebrate small victories and progress. Self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Self-compassion fosters resilience and helps in managing negative emotions without self-criticism. Personal anecdote. I remember struggling with self-doubt during a particularly stressful project. I realized that my inner critic was sabotaging my efforts. By practicing self-compassion, I learned to acknowledge my efforts and progress, which significantly boosted my confidence and performance. Attaining control over your mind is a lifelong journey that involves mindfulness, cognitive techniques, positive psychology, and healthy lifestyle choices. By understanding the mind's nature and employing practical strategies, you can cultivate a more balanced and fulfilling life. Remember, the journey is unique for everyone, and it's essential to find what resonates with you. Embrace the process with patience, consistency, and self-compassion and you'll find that controlling your mind leads to a richer, more intentional existence. Cognitive Behavioral Techniques CBT, are highly effective in managing various unhelpful thought patterns. Here are some specific examples. 1. Catastrophizing Catastrophizing involves anticipating the worst-case scenario without considering more likely, less dire outcomes. For instance, if you make a small mistake at work, you might think, I'm going to get fired. CBT technique for managing this thought. Challenge this thought by asking, what evidence do I have that I will get fired? Or, what is the most likely outcome? 2. Black and white thinking. This involves seeing things in extremes, with no middle ground. You might think, if I'm not perfect, I'm a total failure. 
CBT technique for managing this thought. Identify the gray areas. Ask yourself, is it possible to be successful even if I'm not perfect? Or, what are some examples of success that include both strengths and weaknesses? 3. Overgeneralization. Drawing broad conclusions based on a single incident. For example, I failed one test, so I'm bad at all subjects. CBT technique to manage this thought. Challenge the generalization by examining the evidence. Is one test representative of my overall ability, or have I succeeded in other subjects or tests? 4. Mental filtering. Focusing solely on negative aspects while ignoring the positive. For example, my presentation had one mistake, so it was a disaster, even if most of the presentation went well. CBT technique. Balance the view by listing both positive and negative aspects. What parts of the presentation went well? Or, what feedback did I receive that was positive? 5. Disqualifying the positive. Rejecting positive experiences by insisting they don't count. For example, that compliment was just to be nice, they didn't mean it, CBT technique. Accept positive feedback by questioning the dismissal. Why do I think they didn't mean it, or, what evidence do I have that supports the compliment? 6. Jumping to conclusions. Making negative interpretations without definite evidence. This includes mind reading, she must think I'm boring, and fortune telling, I'm going to fail this interview. CBT technique, look for evidence and alternative explanations. Do I know for sure what she thinks, or, what are other possible outcomes of the interview? 7. Magnification and minimization. Exaggerating the importance of problems, magnification, or downplaying positive events, minimization. For instance, I got an A, but it was just luck. CBT technique, assess situations more realistically. Was it just luck, or did I study hard, or, am I blowing this problem out of proportion? 8. Emotional reasoning. Believing that feelings reflect facts. For example, I feel anxious, so something bad must be about to happen. CBT technique, separate feelings from facts. Does feeling anxious mean there is real danger? Or, can I think of times I felt this way and nothing bad happened? 9. Should statements. Imposing rigid rules on oneself or others, leads to guilt or frustration. For example, I should always be successful, or, people should always be kind, CBT technique. Reframe these statements into more flexible terms. It's okay to strive for success but not achieve it every time, or, people can be unkind sometimes, and that's part of life. 10. Personalization. Blaming yourself for events outside your control or assuming too much responsibility. For instance, it's my fault the project failed, even when many factors were involved. CBT technique. Evaluate the situation objectively. What were all the factors that contributed to the project's outcome? Or, what part did I have control over? Personal anecdote, overcoming catastrophizing. A few years ago, I faced a significant presentation at work. I found myself catastrophizing, thinking, if I make one mistake, the entire project will fail, and I'll lose my job. This thought caused immense anxiety and affected my preparation. I used CBT techniques to manage this thought pattern. I challenged the catastrophic thinking by asking, what evidence do I have that one mistake will lead to such a drastic outcome? And, have I seen others make mistakes and still succeed? I also visualized realistic outcomes, acknowledging that a mistake might happen but wouldn't define the entire project. By reframing my thoughts, I reduced my anxiety and delivered a successful presentation. This experience reinforced the effectiveness of CBT in managing unhelpful thought patterns. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.